the atmosphere. Now y'all just know that this ain't me, but I love it because I love the concept of it. So y'all throw some ones in the chat. Let Curtis know that you're uh, you're excited about him being on. Get your pens and paper. We'll be right back. If you ain't trying to be true, then you better get down with the business. I said my money is different. I can make a thousand in a week. If you ain't trying to be true, then you better get down with the business. It's all different day, different fit, different plane, different trips, foreign exchange. Catch a fifth, do or die. You and I, I'm not the same. 235 is all that I. I had to bring, yeah, you gotta have a bottom, it gotta make sense, it gotta make you cry, they can grow rich, can't spell belief without the lie, if you ain't signing up, I'm cutting ties, so how you gonna sit here and watch? We don't want you just sitting here watching no more, we want you participating. Cause you wear the punch in that clock. Let me see the chat. Hey, I said my money I think we maxed the call. I should have upped it. We have 500 people on the call on today. If you ain't trying to get you trip, then you better get down with the business. Well, I believe the language I was going through some places. No, my All right, Curtis, 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 Curtis is on. Made him the co host. You guys have showed love in the chat. All right. All right. Good afternoon, uh, everybody. Thank you so much for jumping on the call on tonight. We appreciate you and uh, and appreciate your time. I promise you, we're going to give you nothing but value right here. And I see TT Janie, our favorite auntie around the world. She's everybody's auntie. I think I'm trying to fill her shoes. Everybody call me auntie now. <laughs> but thank you so much for uh, hopping on. For those that don't know, my name is Dr. Kathy Kirkland. I am a co-pastor of a church here in Killeen, Texas. I own several businesses. And I first started trading back in 2016. And when I started trading, uh, the 2008 recession had just happened. And I lost everything that I had. I lost my property management company. Uh, because the real estate market crashed and my whole world crashed right along with it, including my 401k. I had four kids in college. Yeah, roll over and let's double up. That's what we're going to do tonight. We're going to roll over and we're going to double up. And so I was introduced to this by my good friend, Dr. Jewel Tinker. And uh, she flew down and I went to a meeting just like this, except it was in person. And I, w I learned how the rich got wealthy. Rich people do a lot of talking and wealthy people whisper it. And I got whispered a lot of good knowledge. And I came home and I began to tell my friends and stuff about it. And sometimes I'm letting you know how you can start a, a business from your home as well as make your money work for you. Because we're in some trying times right now and we need to figure it out. And so and this is how the wealthy got, the rich got wealthy. And I began to tell some of my friends about it and was telling them, hey, you need to learn how to trade foreign currency. This is what the rich do. Their lifestyle don't change. It only increases. And when we first started trading for it, it was a uh, $5.3 trillion a day industry. Now it's right at a $7 trillion a day industry and we're in a recession. Where is the money coming from? This is how what we're going to teach you. I went from not knowing how to read the charts to being the number one educator in the company for two years in a row and created a strategy called the ECC 11 strategy that was uh, number one for the past two years and still have a 90% win ratio uh, this last year and uh, so far this year. And I'm a part of the London payout. So what we wanna do is show you how to make money work for you. Now Forex is really good, but right now Bitcoin is hitting. You see Oprah 
is uh, invested so many millions in Bitcoin, uh, Jeff Bezos, uh, Elon Musk, a lot of people have been investing in Bitcoin. So when you see the wealthy doing something, you need to follow suit. And sometimes our lack of information is what stops us from doing so. So for those that are brand new on the call, we want you to pay attention and we have something special for you at the end. If you have not signed up, if you're gonna sign up with me, if I invited you to the call, then get back with me or my assistant Shante, and we're gonna show you exactly how to get started and everything and uh, get back with the person that invited you to this call. We are one big family. We all were where you were. And now it's time to, to be smart about our money and be smart about our income. So at this time, uh, I wanna introduce to you guys a good friend of mine, I call him my nephew. I remember meeting him in Detroit and we always kept in touch and uh, he hopped on my session still. I still hop on his sessions. And if you haven't heard of Club Crypto, if you sign up tonight, I know I used to do it, but now he actually have the real Club Crypto and he is hitting <laughs> left and right. So right after this at nine o'clock Central Standard Time is Club Crypto. So you want to get signed up so you can hop on so you can catch these clips over the weekend. Curtis, if you're there, unmute, baby, and, and show your screen, and I'm going to give it to you and let you explain everything uh, to them about crypto, how to get started, what needs to be done, and all of that. Hey, 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 can you guys hear me? Yes, we sure can. We sure awesome, can. awesome, awesome. Listen, family, I am absolutely thrilled to be here. Auntie hit me up, and I was like, so you want me to do a call with you? <laughs> Yo, see, oh, I'm doing that for sure. For sure, <laughs> like, I'm absolutely thrilled to be here, man. I love being able to work with family, I love being able to come in here and drop some knowledge for you guys. What's going on, Detroit family? What's up? What's up? So, listen, everybody, uh, if you haven't gotten involved with cryptocurrency right now, listen, this is a financial crime if you are not participating in the cryptocurrency space right now. Hear me very clearly this is a financial crime if you are not participating in crypto, okay. We have stimulus checks flying out of the out of the Washington like it's going out of style, right? How many of you guys watch watch YouTube? Y'all keep typing in next stimulus check release, right? We all want to know when the next one coming, right? Not that we need it, but because we're traders, we know what it does to the market, right? So we wouldn't be wouldn't be ahead of the curve. We don't know if that U.S. dollars from the weekend. We want to know when it's coming so we can start looking for some better opportunities to trade against that dollar. Not only that. It also affects the cryptocurrency space as well, right? We can come in with the cryptocurrency space and say, hey, if this thing is going to fall off, I should be getting more Bitcoin. I should be getting more Ethereum. So what I want to do today is I want to take some time to really like we'll open you guys up to exactly how this works, show you how to get started, show you how to you know go ahead and navigate these waters. Because when you first come in, it is a lot of information. I'm not even going to play around. Like crypto is very confusing when you first come look at it because people are telling you, oh, just buy Bitcoin. Oh, just get Ethereum. Oh, just get some XRP, right? If you don't understand exactly how these coins work and what their use cases are and even how to keep them safe, right? How many of you guys have been to one of my classes and you learned something about keeping your crypto safe, right? I harp on it. I know you learned, Tammy. You don't count Tammy. <laughs> so whenever you, guys, whenever you guys get a chance to come to the sessions, I know for a fact that you guys are going to know exactly what to do when it's time to go, right? I've also even dropped portfolios for you guys now, right? Certain projects you should be looking into getting. So that way, as you're growing and the cryptocurrency space is growing, now you have coins that may be outperforming Bitcoin, right? Some of you guys have already went 100% of your portfolio based on some of the products that I've already released to you guys, right? Polkadot, Cardano, I'm going to shut up. Now, what I want to do real quick is share my screen. I can't, I can't drop all the sauce in the first two minutes, right? I know how it goes. All right, what's going on, coach? I didn't even know we got coach in the building. Mr. Lawrence Michael Young is in the house. What's going on, coach? Listen, Mr. Chairman Fifty himself. Listen, man, when I see that name, I'm like, oh, we got the heavy hitters in the building. Okay. Yes, Lawrence. <laughs> Let's go. He's our main leader. Man, man. From, Lawrence, we would love to hear from you at the end of the call. Absolutely. Got to have coach speak. All right, family. So right here, this is a chart of Bitcoin. Let me do this. Let me get you guys together with the, the overall view, right? So right here, this is a website that I love to use for research. It's called CoinGecko. Now, for anybody who's brand new, this website is phenomenal when it comes to doing research. 
you have to really understand that not everything in the cryptocurrency space is created equally. All right. You're not going to, you know, come in here and just throw a dart at the cryptocurrency space. I'm going to buy this coin. I'm going to be rich. I'm going to buy this coin. And hopefully I make a bunch of money. Doesn't work that way, guys. You got to come in with the right kind of intentions and the right kind of mindset. And also be very coachable with this. OK, this is unlike anything we have ever seen in human history. There has never been something like Bitcoin in existence before. OK, this is the first time that you get to put your money in front of the banks. This has never taken place before. The banks are going to come in after you. OK, can you imagine what that feels like to have your wealth sitting there first and all the world's bank come to, coming in after you, chasing you down? Right. We're going to witness one of the largest wealth transfers in human history. This is no longer one of those things where we're, we're sort of kind of maybe in. This is happening. OK, the beginning of this year, we just witnessed cryptocurrency go from 20K to 40K within less than a month. OK, guys, it's not going to slow down. It's going to get bigger. It's going to move faster. There's going to be a lot of big moves taking place this year. The U.S. banks, right, have just gotten a green light from the Treasury Department to actually purchase crypto. This happened two days ago, guys. OK, so I'm going to drop some nuggets on you a little bit later on because I got some news for XRP for some of my XRP fans. I know y'all y'all like get to the get to the real stuff. Kurt. I want to know about XRP. Should I be holding it? Should I be dropping it? All right. So with this website, right, this is where we like to come and do a lot of research. Now, I know some of you guys may have heard of a website called uh, CoinMarketCap. I used to really like CoinMarketCap as well, but they got purchased by a company called Binance, right? Binance is an exchange, and it's a little more biased now that Binance owns CoinMarketCap. So I don't do much of my research from CoinMarketCap any longer. I like using CoinGecko. It's very robust, gives you a lot of options. You can come in and find a lot of good information when you want to understand how, you know, crypto is really moving, the different platforms that are taking off, the different, you know, spaces that are really starting to really thrive right now. Like something like DeFi, some of you guys may have not heard about that yet. It stands for decentralized finance. It is 100% something that's going to be very, very big, right? Everybody's talking about WISE right now. We're going to talk about WISE on Go Live. I ain't going to go too hard on WISE today, right? Most of y'all WISE up already, so I already know how y'all feeling. All right? So as we scroll down, we got Bitcoin number one, Ethereum number two, Tether, XRP, and Litecoin, and so forth, right? What I, what I want to do real quick is click on Bitcoin. And I want you guys to notice a couple of things here. Like there's some numbers here that you guys need to really understand, okay? Right down here is one of the biggest things you need to pay attention to. Bitcoin has a max supply of only 21 million, meaning not everybody's going to be able to get a Bitcoin, okay? Not everybody's going to be able to say, hey, I got one full Bitcoin. Not every millionaire on the planet can have a Bitcoin. Now, some of you guys are looking at this thing saying, yeah, I'm not going to get one either. Kirk is $40,000 and I got way better things to put $40,000 into. I hear that, but understand me, you don't need $40,000 to get a Bitcoin, okay? You can get 20 bucks worth, 50 bucks worth, 100 bucks worth, 500 bucks worth, okay? Now, when you're building out a portfolio and you're starting to get involved with something like this, I want to stress a couple things right now because I was on, uh, what is this app? The new app everybody's been going crazy about, Clubhouse. Listen, I've been on Clubhouse like a crackhead. I ain't going to lie. I've been, I've been on that thing for two days straight. I ain't slept. I ain't ate nothing. Y'all didn't got me. All right, I've been scratching my nigga. I'm like, I got to get back on that clubhouse. It's lit. <laughs> so I've been on clubhouse talking to a lot of people, and I've picked up on so many different things. But the main thing that I keep hearing on the clubhouse app is, how do I get my Bitcoin off of Robinhood? I keep hearing the same exact question. So many people are using Robinhood to get started in crypto, right? Same question again. How do I get my crypto off of PayPal? Same exact scenario. Those two platforms do not allow you to purchase Bitcoin. You're taking a position on Bitcoin. It is no different from getting in on MetaTrader 4 except the fact that there's no leverage, okay? So if you buy Bitcoin on, on Robinhood, if you buy Bitcoin on PayPal, you never really bought Bitcoin, okay? You just took a position. So when it's time to close that position out and you're ready to take profit, when you close, Literally, you're not going to get anything back but U.S. dollars. All right. Let me see here. Let's clear that off. We got some artists in the room today. They're all drawing. And let me do this. Disable. There we go. All right. So just know, family, there's not going to be a going to cat or going to, uh, to uh, Robin Hood or going to PayPal to purchase Bitcoin. I strongly suggest you do not use Robin Hood if you're looking to buy Bitcoin. It's just not worth it. If you're going to buy from PayPal, wait 
and don't buy it yet because over time, I believe PayPal will release Bitcoin and allow you to move from different wallets. But at the moment, I would tell you guys to hold off on using PayPal as well. It's just not worth it, especially right now. I'm really about ownership for everybody in this space, right? I want you guys to have ownership because what PayPal is telling you is you can participate, but you can't own it with us. We want to keep our, our Bitcoin on, in our pockets, right? Robinhood saying you can participate, but we won't let you leave this website with anything but U.S. dollars. You're not taking any digital assets home with you from this website. And for me, no, thank you. It's better places I can put my money. What's the old said? I've been kicked out of better. So <laughs> you rather go ahead and put your money someplace where you're going to have ownership when you're leaving that site, right? What's a great place to get started? Cash app is nice, right? Cash app is simple and one, everybody has it. So it's super, it's super accessible. Number one is that. Number two is you can actually take your cryptocurrency off of Cash App, okay? It's very powerful. So once you get started, you'll go to Cash App, buy a little Bitcoin, because that's the only one that they're allowing you to get right now. You can't get ETH, you can't get XRP, you can't get anything like that. But the whole thing is, once you have Cash App, and you're ready to take your Bitcoin off of there, where do you put it, right? Where do you send it? Really important, right? So let's see here, let me get rid of this. All right, sweet. So what do you do, right? When you first get started after Cash App and you purchased your Bitcoin, you're going to want to go to a website. Where is it? Where is it? Right here. Called www.exodus.io. All right. This website allows you to actually download a wallet to your desktop or laptop device. And from there, you can store your cryptocurrency on your computer. I strongly suggest you get the desktop version first. OK. And not the mobile version first. Get the desktop version first. All right. Once you get it, you want to scroll down here. Where it says download, you're going to choose either Windows, Mac. If you're really smart, you're going to use Linux. Right? But my nerdy folks that do some coding for most people, you're going to be using Windows or Mac. Right. Me personally, I'm a Windows dude. I like Windows. Right. Now, once you have this, the first thing is it looks just like this when you download it. Right. I got to update this bad boy, too. It's going to look just like this, right? Aesthetically, it's really nice and pretty. like You can come on here and store all the cryptocurrencies you'd like, but you have to understand one thing. This is very unique from something like Coinbase or something like Cash App, all right? Cash App and Coinbase are awesome. They let you purchase your crypto. You can get it from there. They give you something called a public key, okay? But they don't give you something called a private key. A private key actually gives you ownership of your cryptocurrency, okay? If you do not have the private keys to where your coins are being stored, you technically do not own those coins. I'm going to say that one more time for the people in the back. If you do not have or own the private keys to where your cryptocurrencies are being stored, you technically do not own them. So for all my people, that's like, I'm good, Kurt. I got my Bitcoin on, on, on Coinbase, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm straight up. I'm good. I'm A-Weezy. Or, or. You were on the wrong side of Coinbase the other day when that website got shut down. Mm, Bitcoin hit 40K. You couldn't even touch your crypto. But I thought that was yours, right? I thought you could do what you wanted to do with your crypto. Oh, but when Coinbase shut down, you had to sit outside the door and, and wait for them to open up like everybody else, right? Back in the day, you remember standing that line for that government cheese? You was inside the line like everybody else, okay? <laughs> Don't laugh at government cheese. They made the best grilled cheeses back in the day, okay? We, we, we wasn't all rich. We got there now, but we wasn't there back in the day. So. <laughs> understanding that now that we have opportunity to keep our cryptocurrency inside of a wallet like the exodus wallet it gives us private keys when we scroll down here to the wallet side you click wallet it shows you all the different cryptocurrencies we can store here and there's way more that we can store in here if i click just add more down here at the bottom i can just scroll and see all the ones that i can you know technically store here all i gotta do is just click the little circle next to it and i can add them to the list and click it and take them off the list very, 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 very unique, very, very optional. So you can come in here and have some functionality with this. You don't have to have a giant list of cryptocurrencies. You just want to have the ones that you're interested in storing, right? So something like Cardano, right? Which is one of my nice, one of my favorite coins is really nice right now, making some big moves up. This project actually allows you to stake your coins within this wallet, right? So there's certain functions inside of here that allow you to have like passive income, right? Just for holding it inside of this wallet, you can come up here to the top right, Click these little three dots, earn rewards. Ladies and gentlemen, just for keeping your coins in here, you're going to get a passive drip of more Cardano, right? So a minimum balance of five ADA is required to begin staking. 
once you go through all of that, once you deposit some um, Cardano here, you click the stake button, you're going to earn a passive drip of Cardano every month, every month, every month. Same thing as well with Tezos, right? And this is a 5% APY, right? So annual percentage yield, right? Every, basically every year overall, you're going to earn around 5%. Right, one of the top ones right now that's giving a high yield is something like uh, Cosmos. Right, it's almost it's actually nine percent right now. Right, where do you know you're gonna put your money, and for the year you're gonna earn nine percent on it passively? Because the banks ain't giving you that. I promise you, they're not. All right, we have opportunities, guys, to get a lot of things changed here now. Right, cryptocurrency is this beautiful symbiotic relationship where no longer do you have to continue to give your money somewhere where you don't benefit. Right. You stake your money somewhere, they're going to reward you, right? There's so many different things we're going to talk about today. I want to get you guys together. See, do you need a VPN to do this? It just depends on where you live. It depends. So if you live somewhere like Hawaii or New York, you may need a VPN to move certain coins around because I know they have really strict laws. If you live in other areas around the country that don't require that, you'll be fine. It's not like there's any kind of stipulations to download this to your computer, all right? And like I said, this isn't a website. This is actually your client that you downloaded and you own. It's on your computer. Okay, so there is no this going out of business or anything of that nature, all right? And then down here, the next one, we have a built-in exchange right inside of your wallet. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you ever saw that episode of Cleveland when he says, Sears by my house got a McDonald's right inside of it. Listen, you got a whole exchange right inside of your wallet right here, all right? You ain't got to go around and look for nothing else. You don't have to go back and forth to Cash App. You don't have to go back and forth to uh coinbase you can literally swap your coins out within your own personal wallet okay really really awesome really really like convenient so let's say if i want to swap out some bitcoin for ethereum i would need to have a minimum of at least 41 or 42 bucks worth right basically and then once i qu click uh the, the swap button it's going to swap over and i'll have around 33 dollars worth of ethereum because there's going to be some fees attached to it okay super powerful but very very convenient all right now, if I go back over here to the wallet tab, notice once, once again, if I click on the three buttons at the top, three little uh, menu options, if I scroll down where it says view private keys, literally, this is how you get your private keys, ladies and gentlemen, right here. Simple, right? If I click this button right here, what does it say? Are you sure you want to show Cosmos private keys? Be sure you're in a private location and no one can see your screen. Anyone viewing your private keys can steal your funds, right? And since I know, like, and trust everybody in this chat, of course, I'm not going to show you my private keys. That's the whole point of me telling you they're private. Why would I do that? That would be silly, okay? It's the whole point, guys, of making sure that nobody ever gets a chance to see your private keys. I don't care if Obama emails you and says, hey, I'm going to need to see your private keys because uh, I got to get some funds out of your wallet. And uh... No, we're not doing that. We're not doing that, all right? I don't care if grandma shows up on private keys. I don't care if Christopher Terry himself shows up saying, listen, the panda needs the keys. He ain't getting them either. I love Chris, but he ain't getting my keys. Okay, it ain't happening, Captain. Listen, I've seen horror stories, right? If anybody emails you or asks you for your 12-word restoration code for your wallet, your private keys, you never give that information to anybody over the internet. Ever. I don't care if, 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 if it says Exodus itself, you never send that information out to anybody, okay? Because people are scamming right now. Crypto's at an all-time high, and people are getting scammed like never before. I don't want to see anybody in this chat get taken advantage of, okay? So, so far, what have we talked about, right? You coming in, starting somewhere like Cash App, starting somewhere like Coinbase, coming in, getting started, buying your cryptocurrency, getting all excited, participating in this space, which is awesome. But first things first, you got to go download the Exodus wallet, get it on your desktop. From there, you'll be able to move your cryptocurrency over to this wallet from your Coinbase or your Cash App, and you'll be able to keep it safe inside of this wallet, okay? So you said, how do you move from Coinbase to Cash App? That's a good question. So for my new people, this is what it looks like, okay? Let's say you got Bitcoin, right? Sitting inside of your, your Coinbase, okay? And you wanna put it in your Exodus wallet so you can keep it someplace safe and have ownership. The first thing you wanna do is you wanna start on Exodus first because you're gonna need an address to send it to, right? We can't just make something up on Coinbase. So what do we do? We come over here, we want to receive. So we're gonna click receive. And we get our whole address right here. Don't send me crypto, everybody. I don't want it. I got enough, all right? <laughs> so we're going to click that button. We've gotten our address. Minimize. Let's go back over to Coinbase. If I'm, if I'm on my portfolio right here, let's say I'm going to send Bitcoin, like we just talked about. I would then 
come over here to where it says send. It says mobile, email, or address. Well, we have an address. I'm simply gonna right click and paste that address in there. Now, let me do this real quick. Let me zoom in some more so we can really see, right? Notice what this looks like, right? We got BC1QG4N, right? Let's go back over here and take a look again. What does our address say? All right, BC1QG4N. So we know we got the right address. We checked it, double checked it, got what we need. We know it's there. We'll put the dollar amount that we want in here. And then we're gonna go ahead and just click send and complete or continue. Once we send it off, that's it, right? That'll be the whole thing, ladies and gentlemen. It'll go right over, right? It'll go right over to the address that we sent it to and boom, send all, whatever it may be, right? And then from there, goes right over to the to that address. We're good to go, all right? This is a Tezos wallet anyway. I gotta go to <laughs> Bitcoin anyway, but yeah. This is how it all works out, ladies and gentlemen. Let's say right here, go to BTC wallet, all right? Boom, paste, all right? Let's, we went to all, whatever it may be. I don't have any Bitcoin in here at the moment. But that's all it is, guys. Make sure you're on the right cryptocurrency down here. All right. Make sure you got the right address in. You put the right dollar amount in that you want to send. You hit continue and boom, it's off. And then it'll land inside of your Exodus wallet. That's it. Simple, straight to the point. Nothing difficult about it. Always want to make sure you guys have a good example of how this stuff works because people are so like intimidated by crypto. Like, man, how do I send it? How do I receive it? How do I really navigate? Now, the beautiful part about the Exodus wallet is. You can use this when you're moving funds from Coinbase here, right? Finance back to Exodus, right? Your, your cash app to Exodus, right? Or your broker account back to Exodus, okay? So this could be like your middleman, right? When you're ready to finally withdraw and send something back to Coinbase and take it out in US dollars, or you want to send it over to something like cash app and turn it back into US dollars and into your bank account, you can leave it here for safekeeping as opposed to keeping it on exchange or just leaving it in your broker account. Right. You want to have that ability to have control over where your money is. All right. And have that absolute like sovereignty of I have control of this. Nobody can come in and touch it. Nobody can tell me what I should be doing with it. This is all 100 percent in my power. All right, guys. Super, super powerful stuff, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Listen, I'm, I'm dropping some sauce for y'all today. Right. Because usually on go live, this is all 100 percent behind the curtain. OK, so what we're going to do now is the next thing you want to do after you have your Exodus wallet. Right, because you got your this is considered a, a a hot wallet, right? We're doing a lot of real quick transactions from here. But we can leave a lot of we can leave a lot of you know not a lot. We can leave a, some we can leave some money in here. We don't want to put an over the top amount in, right? Oh no problem, Rashad. You don't want to leave an over the top amount in here, but you want to make sure that you have enough that you can kind of you know be savvy with, go from exchanges, maybe swap out into another project that's looking really interesting, right? Having having some ability to be you know tactical inside of what we're doing here in this next bull run. But once this, thing, once this thing gets a little robust and we got a lot of money in here, because I can't tell anybody what a lot of money is, but you know what a lot of money is, right? Y'all know what the elbow rub, you know what a lot of money look like. So once you got a lot of money in your exit wallet, we got to start doing a couple of things. Now, the next thing you're going to want to look into is considered a cold storage wallet, right? This is the Ledger Nano S or the Ledger Nano X, okay? Now, my opinion, Ledger Nano S is fine. Ledger Nano X is fine. There's no real better version. They're both good. This was the early one. This one here has Bluetooth attached to it for the X version. They both work the same. They're going to store your crypto. It's really not a big whoop <laughs> with everyone you get, right? So you're good with that. Now, here's the deal with this. Here's the big difference between the Ledger Nano and Exodus, okay? Exodus is not going to be the most over-the-top secure method. I mean, let's be real. This thing's on your computer, right? At any point, people can try to brute force hack it or things like that. I've never seen anybody's wallet get hacked, but I have seen people do foolish things like give their private keys away, right? Or give their restoration codes away from emails that they've received. So I have seen things like that. And it's not somebody's fault necessarily if they haven't been told how to really keep their wallet safe, right? People download this stuff and they just throw funds in it and they think it's cool. And then you get a random email from somebody saying, hey, we need you to send us your private keys because we're updating this wallet. No, you can just update it without my keys because I'm straight. I figured the rest out. <laughs> it, don't, it don't work like that. You're not about to get my private keys. Just send me an email. Now, with this device, nobody's going to be able to access your funds without having this device in their hand. Okay? You're going to have to put an entire passcode in every time you open this up. Okay? Very, very powerful. Very, very secure. And this is why they call it cold storage. Because for one, your cryptocurrency is never stored on this device. Mmm. 
your cryptocurrency is never stored on this device. This is simply a remote that allows you to access the wallet online. Okay? The wallet's always going to be online, right? And even when, the, even when your funds are inside of your Exodus wallet or inside of your Ledger wallet, they're still going to fluctuate with the market. For, don't, don't think for one minute you snatched your Bitcoin off of Coinbase and it stops moving. That's not how that works either. Bitcoin is always going to be attached to the market. I had an older guy. He was like in his, his late 60s. And he was like, okay, Kurt, so if I take my money off of Coinbase, is it going to stop moving? I'm like, no, it's going to always move. He's like, he thought, he thought it was like snatching the cord out of the wall. Like it was going to just stop. And I'm like, no, no, this ain't like unplugging the iron. Like it's it's going gonna, it's gonna to keep working. Okay. Because when you go back to check it, what you got to do, you got to plug it back in. So listen, it's not, it doesn't work that way. I know I did the worst old man voice ever, but yeah, <laughs> it's just how this stuff works. Listen, I got kids, so I do a lot of dad jokes. So just roll with me on it. Okay. So just know the other thing about this is you never want to purchase this ledger device from any other place outside of this website right here. When you buy your ledger, it should say, it should say shopledger.com up here in the, in the search bar. Shopledger.com. Don't buy it from Amazon. Don't buy it from eBay, especially don't buy it from eBay. Oh, good goodness, no. Okay, <laughs> don't go to Amazon, don't go to eBay, don't go to Walmart, all right? And I get somebody, but Kurt, they got it for $5 cheaper at Walmart. Do you know how much XRP I can get with that leftover $5, bro? L I, listen, I honestly just, no. You want to sleep good at night? Get it from Ledger and be done with it, okay? You don't want to have too many fingers touching this before it gets to you, okay? Super important. Super important, all right? Let's see here. Yeah, so the Ledger X, the Ledger Nano X is just Bluetooth, and the Ledger S is just not. It's just, it's no. You see you got the buttons here for this one. And then for the Ledger Nano X, all right, it's got a more of a touchscreen Bluetooth kind of feel to it, right? You can use your phone and all that kind of stuff to do your, to, to do your you know, your transactions with. Me personally, and I, I have both of them, and I still only use my Ledger Nano S more than I use my X, right? I use this thing way more than I use my X. And that's, it's like over there somewhere in a pile of flash drives. Like, I don't, for some reason, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just my... My paranoidness, I think somebody's going to come in and remote access this because it's Bluetooth. So in my brain, I'm just like, nope, not on duty. I'm not even messing with it. I'm going to use my manual button pressing one that I need to see my fingers hit the button for it to work. So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. It's just weird. But, yeah, I just have a whole stigma with it. I always use my old because <laughs> I've been using it that long. But these are the layers that you want to work through, right? You want to make sure you get started someplace like Coinbase, get started someplace like Cash App. Just get in the game, right? Buy a little Bitcoin on Cash App, right? Or go to Coinbase, get a little Bitcoin, get a little Ethereum. But the moment you have it, you're going to want to move it over to your Exodus wallet so you can have it someplace secure. Because we just had an example of, of Coinbase shutting down because price was running too hot. They couldn't handle all of the volatility in the market and they shut, they shut down their exchange. And they have a real bad habit of doing that when the market's running. I, I've noticed that time and time again, when you're going to run in and grab a little bit more, website goes down. I'm like, how convenient that y'all lock up a bunch of people's money where they can't take their money out, right? It just seems real convenient when every time price is running hot, it's an all-time high, and then the exchange wants to just automatically go for a breather. Like, you know, do it do it when the market's dropping, right? Do it then. <laughs> so they want to catch you when it's running hot so you can't take that profit. So me personally, I'd rather keep my stuff someplace where I have control and I can swap in and out of different coins if I choose to. If Bitcoin is going hot and I want to take profit, I have the option to swap out of it from here and I can grab something like a stable coin, like USDC or something like that, right? Where now I can exit the volatility of Bitcoin, go into a stable coin, and I don't have to worry about my money fluctuating anymore, right? Really powerful stuff that we can do here. For you, some of you guys that don't know what stable coins are, I strongly suggest you come into the DCX classes that I have. I literally teach four times a week, and it's all you guys' fault. I was good with my two sessions. Y'all call corporate and said, we need Kurt for more days. And they said, well, it looks like we're doubling down on you, bro. You got more classes than anybody else on DCX. I'm like, wait, what just happened? So, yeah, I'm teaching Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. <laughs> they took my whole week. I'm like, bruh, sheesh. Don't get me wrong. I'm happy with the, the compensation. But they definitely filled me up for the rest of the week. So, yeah. But don't get me wrong. I love what I do. I really do. I have a lot of fun with you guys, which I can't wait to do the class we got going on tonight. Because anybody knows, on Friday nights, we go hard in the paint. On technical analysis, we make sure everybody's well equipped for what's to come up in the next few days, weeks, and months when it gets down to the nitty gritty in these markets. So, so far, 
You guys are knowledgeable about getting involved. You know where to go buy. You know where to say where to keep it safe. And you know where to get your next layer of security, which is your Ledger Nano S. And we know not to buy it from Amazon, not to get it from Walmart, and definitely not to get it from eBay. Okay? We go right into Ledger. We grab it from there. And then when it shows up, there are tons of videos on YouTube that'll walk you through this bad boy. You don't need Kurt to hold your hand on how to work this. Just go to YouTube, do some research. You will be okay. Okay? Cool. Now, from here, what's the next thing we should be looking to do? There are certain exchanges that you're going to want to start making accounts with, okay? One of them is definitely going to be Coinbase. We already talked about that. So Coinbase and Cash App definitely going to be like number one, number two, okay? Now, after that, Binance US is the next place you're going to want to go ahead and make your account with, all right? Go ahead, get verified, make an account with those guys. There are certain coins that you're going to want to get, and you're going to keep them safe after we buy them from here as well, all right? The next exchange you're going to want to make an account with is Kraken. Okay, Kraken is really cool. They got some coins that you can't really get anywhere else but this place. So recapping again, starting off, Coinbase, Cash App, so you can get started. Then from there, Binance US, right? Binance.us is the one you're going to be looking to make an account with. After that, Kraken, right? Right up here at the top, you guys can see where my mouse is moving around. Literally, all the exchanges right here. Now, Uniswap is another exchange you guys are going to use, but you don't make an account with Uniswap. Uniswap is a decentralized exchange. There is no email. There is no, you know, KYC, no know your customer, none of that. Okay. What you're going to do with Uniswap is you're going to have to download another app called the Coinbase Wallet. Now, this conversation has been the bane of my existence. Okay. I feel like it's one of those, one of those little riddles they do when they're like, who's on first? No, who's on first? That's what I said. Who's on first? I feel like I'm doing that when I'm explaining the Coinbase wallet because everybody's like, Kurt, you just said to get Coinbase. I'm like, yeah, I know, but this is the Coinbase wallet. Yeah, I got that already. I'm like, no, not Coinbase, the Coinbase wallet. Bro, we saying the same thing. No, we're not. <laughs> okay. You have to download an app called Coinbase wallet. It is a white circle with a blue square in the inside of it. Okay. Or, or a white square with a blue circle inside of it. Okay. Super, super different. I, I get it. I know it sounds like I'm saying the same thing 40 million times. Right. So, yeah, just make sure you download the Coinbase wallet. Once you have the Coinbase wallet, you're going to connect it to Kraken. Or I'm sorry, to uh, Uniswap. So let's say we go up here to Uniswap, right? The user face right here at the top, user interface. Once we go here, this is going to open up. Now I need to connect the wallet, okay? When I click here to connect wallet, we have MetaMask, Wallet Connect. Oh, would you look at that? This is the Coinbase wallet. Who would have thunk it? Okay, but notice what this emblem looks like, right? Blue circle, white circle inside with another blue square in the middle. Not this blue square with a C that stands for Coinbase. This is the Coinbase wallet app. This connects to this exchange. Okay, you have the option to connect the Coinbase wallet to the Coinbase app as well. You don't have to, though. It's not necessary. You don't have to do it at all. All we want to do is use this wallet to interact with this website. Why do we want to interact with Uniswap? Uniswap is the world's largest decentralized exchange. This website has around six people that run it. They move more money than Coinbase. I'm going to say that one more time. <laughs> Coinbase is a multi-billion dollar company, okay? And they're getting beat out by a website ran by six teenagers, okay? Like, that's, that's, what I, that, that's how powerful crypto is, right? Like this website ran by six teenagers is like blowing the door. It's smoking Coinbase. All right. Way more money flows through here than on Coinbase. Now, a lot of the projects on this site haven't been listed on major exchanges yet. So you get to come in here and start participating with certain projects that haven't really gotten that big boost from big exchanges like Binance, Coinbase, Kraken, and these other places. You can come in with your Coinbase wallet deposit a little ETH in that bad boy, and we can start coming in here getting some real nice projects, real cheap. Ooh, we can find them, right? So prime example, right? Let's say we connect our wallet, boom, awesome. From there, I wanna show you guys something real quick. I called out a coin on one of the sessions, right? I was telling everybody about this coin called Wise. And I said, okay, guys, I'm doing this research on this Wise coin. Sheesh! Oh my God, I just noticed where it's at right now. I did some research on the Wise coin, okay? 
And when I went to their website, this coin, right? When I went to the Wise website, the coin had so much Ethereum already behind it. It had close to almost like, it was somewhere around like 40,000 ETH was locked on this website. And I'm like, dude, that's a, that's a lot of money. 40,000 Ethereum just sitting there on this website and nobody on crypto Twitter is talking about it. Nobody on YouTube is talking about it. This is crazy, right? So I, I got back to the team. I got back to everybody on the company. I'm like, hey, listen, we need to do a whole go live on this because I think this could be a sleeper. I told everybody about it. When we got in on Wise, it literally was 16 cents when it dropped, right? And I told everybody with all the Ethereum that's currently sitting inside of Wise, it's going to be a top 10 coin on Uniswap. So it makes sense. Guys, Wise is number three in the world right now. And nobody's talking about it yet. It's still under the radar. I'm going to click on here. It's almost at 70 cents, ladies and gentlemen. When I dropped this for the company, it was at 16 cents. This was a couple days ago. Listen, this coin has more liquidity in it than the Uniswap coin. This is their website. And it's got more liquidity than their own coin. We're number three, ladies and gentlemen. Okay? This thing, listen, I'm going to go to the website. I was just showing you guys for a second. I want to I want to bag up a little bit. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. Okay. All right. All right. I want to show you guys something real quick. With CoinGecko here, I'm going to type in the WISE token for you guys. I'm going to show you something. All right. WISE. Guys, listen. It hasn't even gotten a number. It hasn't even gotten listed, right? If I go down here to all these different projects that we have, let me go back up here real quick. WISE currently at 68 cents. I'm going to show you something. All these coins have numbers next to them. They're being, they're being listed. I put this in my portfolio to see what it would pop up as for a rank. I want to show you guys something real quick with Wise and how early we are to this project before everybody even gets a chance to wake up to it. Number three in the world, it's not even, it hasn't even gotten a number yet, ladies and gentlemen. It's not even on the radar for people to see this yet. Okay, look at the trajectory of this thing just running and we got in on it before it even landed on uniswap ladies and gentlemen this is the power of tapping into the classes this is the power of being plugged into the, to these these different things that we're already putting in front of you so you can be a part of these these, these projects before they go absolutely parabolic right this coin i believe can go 100x all right 100x like you whatever you put in could times by 100 by the end of next year right or by the end of this year i'm sorry so I'm just saying, this is my projections on, on some of the products that I'm researching, but I always want to make sure that you guys have the opportunity to come in and get into Tam saying, thanks. Listen, Tam got in, she wised up, right? <laughs> That's the whole little statement I've been getting. Everybody been just sending me, wise up, wise up. I'm like, yeah, it is up actually. So <laughs> we got a scenario, ladies and gentlemen, where you're still early to this project as well. Yeah, I get it, it's at, it's at 68 cent. By the time this thing hits a dollar, everybody's going to be going crazy when it hits $3 and then $20 and then all of that. We're going to be going crazy. But the reason why Wise is doing what it's doing right now. All right, let me go back real quick. The reason why Wise is doing what it's doing is because this is one of the first cryptocurrencies in the cryptocurrency space to be backed by Ethereum. So when Ethereum goes up, Wise goes up, right? And then when Wise goes up, it naturally rises on its own. So you have an opportunity where this thing can go 2x, 3x, 4x by itself. And if Ethereum goes up twice or 2x, that also counts for Wise 2x, right? So it's just this, this, this magnitude of, of, increase, of increasing for this project. I think we are in at a very, very special time for these kind of projects, right? And just making sure you guys have the early, the early mover adoption for these projects, right? Some of you guys got in like the day I released it, which I'm super thankful I was able to get this information to you before it even dropped. But yeah, Uniswap is a phenomenal, phenomenal platform. It gives us a lot of options to come in here and start providing liquidity, getting certain projects before they're released, and just knowing what to do and know, knowing where to get these coins early off is really, really important. Yeah, Wise is only on Uniswap right now. It's, it's, not, it's not listed on any other major exchanges. Now, imagine once it gets listed on Coinbase or something like that. What do you think the price would do then, right? Imagine if it lands on Binance. Imagine if it lands on any other major exchange. That could be another giant price jump just for that token by itself, okay? So, yeah, listen, Tron, listen, I wouldn't touch Tron with a two-foot pole. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. The, the creator of Tron, Justin Sun, he does a lot of hype stuff, but I wouldn't get involved with it. Dogecoin is a joke coin, and a lot of people get involved with it because they see TikTokers talk about it, but Doge doesn't have any actual use case. Tron doesn't really have any community that, that's, that's behind it. It's just certain projects have hype, 
but they're not going to have any substance, right? We call them vaporware, where they talk a good game, but they have no real use case, right? Like Tron is actually building projects on Ethereum. That's how bad their blockchain is. They're building their projects on Ethereum's network. And they want people to buy their coin still. You said, how can you get Wise now? You can still get it from, uh, from Uniswap, right? If you wanted to get Tron I mean, or get Wise, you can have ETH here. And then you'll go down and then you'll pull up Wise, right? Right there. And then you can swap it out from here, right? We got to go to the swap token first, the swap section. But once again, like I said, guys, go to the favorite section that I have in the, in the, in the I am, uh, in my favorite section, go live. And from there, you guys will be able to get the full tutorial of how to participate on these sites. Okay. Like, I don't want you guys coming in here, fumbling through this stuff. Like I've made content for you so you can have a breakdown of how to utilize these websites. Okay. So moving right along real quick, let me do this for you guys. So for all of my people that are looking at Bitcoin and saying you're too late to the party, I'm going to go ahead and do this. And then don't be mad at me when I burst your bubble. Okay. I just think it's fair because you asked for this. So <laughs> what happens is, <laughs> tell me like I ain't about to even laugh at him because I know he got he about to get him again. He got me too. All right. <laughs> so what happens is Bitcoin goes on these cycles, ladies and gentlemen. Now this is way back in like 2010, right? When Bitcoin was back at a penny, right? Every time I show this, everybody shakes their head like, where was my antennas when this bad boy was at a penny? probably somewhere not paying no attention and messing around doing all the wrong things. So when Bitcoin's back at a penny, right, it made a huge run up to around $24, right, which was still amazing gains just with that alone. Like, sheesh, right? Imagine you got it now for a coin that was at a penny and he has 24 bucks. You be in love. And then what happens? We get a pullback, right? We get the drop off, consolidation, growth, accumulation. This dotted line here represents a halvening. Bitcoin has these halvenings every four years. What exactly is a halvening? A halvening is the supply of Bitcoin being cut in half. Not all the coins in existence, but the coins that come into existence are now being cut in half. So the example goes like this. On this side of this dotted line, everything over here, during this entire time of Bitcoin's lifespan, there were 50 Bitcoin coming into existence every 10 minutes. That was a lot of BTC being pushed out into the community. Could you imagine being a miner back then? In every 10 minutes, you have the potential to earn not 50, but maybe 10 here, 15 here, seven here, four there, every 10 minutes, right? Crazy gains for those early adopters, okay? As it kept running right here, the code of Bitcoin kicked in and now those 50 Bitcoin went to 25 after this dotted line, right? So what happens now is, supply shock kicks in there's not enough to go around but there's still a demand for it and all of a sudden still demand small supply you guys know what happens on a chart whenever demand exceeds supply price goes higher all right if i ask you guys about those playstation and xboxes that just dropped there was a lot of demand for that playstation right and what happened it exceeded the, 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 the supply that they had they could have they were charging astronomical numbers for playstations on ebay right? On Amazon, on these, on the, what is that, StockX website? You had to pay almost to like $1,000 to get a PlayStation, right? It's no different with, with anything, right? Supply and demand always is going to dictate the price. So after we see the, the amount of Bitcoin get cut in half that comes into existence, we want 50 Bitcoin every 10 minutes, 25 Bitcoin every 10 minutes. Now all of a sudden, boom, supply shock hits, Bitcoin goes higher because there's a demand, not enough to go around. And what happens now? Notice the cycle again, guys. We got drop off, Hmm. Drop off, consolidation, look at that, consolidation, some growth, a little growth, accumulation, accumulation, then a halvening. So now we go from 25 Bitcoin every 10 minutes to 12.5 Bitcoin, right? Every 10 minutes, what happens to price? Boom. Runs up again, right? And this was 2017 when everybody woke up to Bitcoin, right? And the same thing happens again, guys. Pay attention. Some of you guys are going to witness it. We got the drop off, the drop off, consolidation, consolidation, growth, growth, accumulation, accumulation, happening. We're just getting started again, y'all. We just getting started again. <laughs> You're not too late. You're not too late. Now, mind you, when 2017 happened, do we have banks getting, getting involved with cryptocurrency back then? 
Nope. Did we have PayPal getting involved with cryptocurrency back then? Nope. Was Cash App involved with cryptocurrency back then? Nope. All right. We didn't have Grayscale coming in, putting billions of dollars into the market. We didn't have micro strategy coming in, putting billions of dollars into the market. We didn't have Paul Tudor Jones coming in, repping this bad boy. Right. We didn't have Anthony Scaramucci, the leader of uh, what is it? What is it? Uh, Skybridge Capital coming in, like repping this bad boy, verifying the fact that crypto was a real deal. We had Jamie Dimon cursing Bitcoin out every week. Right. The guy in charge of uh, what is it? Uh, J.P. Morgan. All right, J.P. Morgan Chase, he's all, oh, it's, 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 it's the worst thing ever. Only drug dealers and human traffickers and all this and that. I'm like, you do know that you just got caught with a boat full of cocaine, Jamie Dimon, when you talk about drug dealers. But we ain't going to talk about Morgan Stanley and all, and all those guys and J.P. Morgan getting caught with cocaine on their boats. Moving right along. Bitcoin is going crazy, and we have an opportunity, right, some TMI. We have an opportunity right now, ladies and gentlemen, to participate in one of the largest financial transfers in human history, one of the largest wealth transfers in human history. This is not going to slow down. They wanted to get in back when prices are in these lows in December and October and November time. They couldn't do it. It was still 2020. They couldn't put this, this kind of an asset on their balance sheet at the end of the fourth, of the fourth quarter. That would have been a huge tax hit for any corporation putting Bitcoin in in the fourth quarter. But here we are with a new fiscal year. It's the first quarter. What do you think is going to happen? Big bada boom. Major adoption already kicking in, ladies and gentlemen. This is not going to slow down. It's the first week of this year. We, ain't, we just made it past seven days. Okay? We had the purge, and now we got Bitcoin going crazy. Yes, y'all saw what happened in the Capitol building. It was absolutely wild. We're going to digress from that, that topic. It's so funny. I saw so many folks rolling their eyes like, mm, must be nice. So <laughs> with that being said, we understand that we have opportunity to come into this space, get involved, and start to really put our money ahead of all these corporations that simply want in on this. Now, notice what happened back here too, guys, right? And all these other instances, right? Price was breaking out. It had weeks where it slowed down for a little bit, major pullback, and then a big run back up. This is the weekly chart we're on right now, right? The big breakout where it ran for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight weeks straight before a pullback. Uh, one, two, three, four. We can go maybe another four weeks of just running up before we get a major pullback. Ladies and gentlemen, could you imagine what this looks like if Bitcoin hits 50K before the end of February? Everybody's been screaming Bitcoin can be a $100,000 coin by the end of 2021. We would be halfway there in the second month of the year. Listen, you talk about a Black History Month celebration. I'm gonna be, <laughs> I'm gonna be on the roof with my Harriet Tubman shirt on with Bitcoin on the back. Okay. I could have saved a thousand more if they only knew they were slaves. Okay. This is where everybody gets to come up at the same time. You got that right, Curtis. I'm gonna be right there with you. <laughs> listen, like, listen, we can all win together because they gotta come in. With the legal side, right? They got to make sure their taxes are right. Their books are right. While they doing their whole inking, getting everything together for the government's sake so they can make sure their taxes and everything is good for the books for the company's sake, we need to be hurrying up, getting in position, strapping into the rocket, and saying, lock the dough. <laughs> lock the dough because I ain't going nowhere. Because, listen, they want you to sell your Bitcoin to them. They're, they, they will gladly take it off of your hands because I just told you guys that there's only going to be how many Bitcoin, ladies and gentlemen? All right, somebody in the chat remembers because I know we got some smart folks here. There's only going to be 21 million BTC. All of these fat cats up in, up, in, up in Washington, all these people up in Wall Street, it ain't enough to go around. It's not enough to go around. What does Wall Street run off of? Does it run off of, off of abundance? Does it run off of kindness? Does it run off of, off of, off of uh, what is it, generation, right? Or gen generosity? It runs off of what? Starts with a G. Everybody knows what it is, right? Greed. Greed. And they want it. They want it bad. Because this, this is the digital version of gold, okay? So now listen, I can only go a little while longer because I got to do a couple things in a minute. Because, <laughs> listen, Auntie, Auntie Kathy know, like, when you're trying to start up Go Live, listen, that, that OBS like starting to line more. You got to pull that boy a couple times. <laughs> 
hours <laughs> to get it running. So you got to prep it before you get on the session. I can't just jump on nine o'clock and be like, we good. It's going to take a minute for that bad boy to run up. This is like an old classic Buick. You got to let it run for a while. So what I'm going to do real quick for you guys is I'm going to share something with you. And I want you to do some research for me. There is, so listen, and listen, for most people, when I share this with them, this is the thing that blows their mind. Okay. Cause I know it's going to sound a little far-fetched, but I want you to really understand where we're headed right now. And I think it's super important that I open your eyes to something that's going to be game changer that most people won't see until it finally lands like right in front of them. And it's like, oh, wow. Okay. Okay. This right here is a real thing. Uh, let's see. I want to see if it pops up with the, yeah. NASA asked Elon Musk to mine a giant gold asteroid that could make everyone on Earth a billionaire. It's worth $700 quadrillion. Who's the only person on the planet that can shoot a rocket into space, land it, and then bring it back to Earth? I'll wait. I'll wait. So this asteroid that's worth a lot of money is made mostly of gold. Elon Musk is already planning a trip to this asteroid <clears throat> to mine the gold and bring it back. Now, hear me closely, because I, I know I got some real smart folks here. What do you guys think is going to happen when he comes back with a rocket full of gold? Do you think the price of gold is going to go up or is it going to go down? Let me know in the chat. Let me know in the chat, because I, I know we got some smart folks here, right? The price of gold is going to go up or is it going to go down? I'm seeing down, 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 crash. Woo, we got some smart folks in here. I am Mastery Academy is doing its job. If the price of, if, if, if gold, if, if this asteroid comes back, with all this gold, he can keep going back and getting more and more and more. The price of gold is going to plummet because gold is no longer scarce, ladies and gentlemen. It's a regular metal now because we can go to space and come back with however much we want. Now, there's no more hedging the U.S. dollar with gold if there was only something else we could use to hedge our money with that's scarce. Hmm. Can anybody think of something that's scarce that we could hedge our money with? Oh, that's right. Oh, Bitcoin. Who the thunk it? Don't that just beat all? You are cracking me up. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying, I see like, these are the things I'm having my discussion with my team. I'm like, let's play 3D chess with them, right? Let's not mess around no more. Let's get on offense now. Because we've been taught to play defense with our money. It's a wrap for that. I'm out here playing Steph Curry ball. I'm hero ball right now. I'm, I'm not from the corner. Clean. Nothing but net. Give me my bag and some. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you are plugged into some really powerful education, some very powerful communities. If you're linking up with Dr. Kathy, if you're linking up with Tammy Washington, if you're linking up with any leaders inside of Rich Guys, Rich Girls Trade, Mr. Lawrence Michael Young and his beautiful wife, Tamara Boykin Young, these people are here to help you. The Jewel Tankers, the China Bethelys, like we are here to help you grow. Right? We operate in abundance. There's enough for everybody to win. Where are you going to go where everybody's going to root for your success? I'll wait. Some of y'all can't go to the barbecue without somebody hating on you. Right? <laughs> you hop on the Zoom call, and we over here like, where you been at? We've been waiting on you. We missed you. Listen, let me show you this new thing we just found on the website. Like, listen, when, when, when HFX hit, everybody was running to get in together. People was having massive success together. Right? When Dr. Kathy dropped ECC 11, I couldn't even say it, right? I'm like, what is ECC 70, 17, 82? What's going on? Right? What's, what's this? What's the thing? They're like, no, Dr. Kathy over here killing it. <laughs> right? I had to go in there and sit down and say, listen, she got this Ishimoku humming right now. This bad boy running like a Maserati. Let's go. She changed some settings up. She had that thing moving. And I'm loving it because, listen, everybody was winning together. Together. It wasn't just her. She found a way to make sure the whole community got the benefit from it. This, this, this is the deal, family. We have windows of arbitrage that we get to take full advantage of. We've been taught to question everything. This is not the season of questioning. This is not the season of doubt. This is not the season of sitting on the sideline and waiting and waiting and waiting. Listen, it's action now. It's all about action now. 2020 showed you 
Don't let these people play you with the media. Don't let these people tell you what to think. Don't let these people tell you how to feel. Don't let these people tell you who you should and shouldn't be talking to. Okay? I was telling one of my boys, he was like, man, this don't feel, this don't feel right. It don't feel real. I was like, listen, you've been doing it right your whole life, man. Try some wrong, dog. <laughs> Try some wrong, dog. Like, he was, he was looking at me crazy. He was like, they don't even feel real. I'm like, bro, real is changing. Listen, how many buildings does, does Amazon own, right? How many stores have you walked in to go buy your stuff from Amazon? I wait. How many cars does Uber own, right? How many buildings does Airbnb really own, right? Like, let's, let's be serious, right? Our money needs to, needs to evolve. Cryptocurrency is allowing that to happen. It's facilitating that change that we need right now, okay? I'm going to drop one more nugget on you, and I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. It's about Elon Musk as well. I'm not a big, you know, stock guy, but if you are looking to get into stocks, I, st I strongly suggest Elon Musk's company is something you need to look into. He just dropped an update for his Teslas, right? It costs $10,000 to get this update for your software. If you've ever owned a Tesla, you can get this, this update that allows your car to become a self-driving vehicle, right? What I realized was he came back and said, if you don't get it now, next year, that same update is going to cost you $100,000. And I said, why? Oh, why would he do that? That don't even make sense. It's almost like he don't want you to buy his... Oh, my God. This man playing 3D chess with the world. I realized that Elon Musk doesn't want you to buy his cars. Because I'm going to ask you this. If you had a self-driving vehicle, when you're at home, would you let your car sit in the driveway or would you let it go out in Uber for you? Right? You're going to put that car to work. That thing is an asset now. No longer a car is liabilities, right? That bad boy is going out to earn you some money. Now, here's the next thing. As that car is earning you more, when you get enough lump sum of money from that car, would you spend it or would you do what? Get another Tesla and get it back on the road. You're going to have a whole fleet of Teslas driving around for you, right? Understand me. Elon Musk don't want you to buy his car because he can send it out himself and drive for him. The world is changing. People will no longer even be buying cars in a minute. They'll just be Ubering from Elon Musk. It'll be dirt cheap to do it. There'll be a whole network interconnected with his vehicles, right? He's already, he's already building a, a, a network right now above our heads, right? Right? This is what he's already building above our heads, ladies and gentlemen. He has satellites being shot all around the planet that are going to facilitate a wireless network. Spacelink is happening now. He's doing this. This isn't a, a, a mock-up. This is happening now. He wants to wrap the globe in satellites so everyone will have access to the internet and his cars can drive anywhere on the planet without being interrupted from a service, uh, a service denial or area that doesn't have any coverage. He's going to blanket the globe in internet. Ladies and gentlemen, we're, we're, we're on the edge of some of the most game-changing technology, and most people are being distracted with fear and not looking at what's really taking place and manifesting in front of us. It's time to get on offense. It's time to get on offense. If you play defense here, you're going to be a dinosaur, and you will be left behind. People, it's, I, I, Listen, I could have saved a 1,000 more if they only knew. If they only knew. I get the chills talking to people about this stuff, but they look at me like I'm crazy. I'm like, listen, Google it. This ain't me talking, you know, foil hat stuff. This is real life tangible. It's happening. Okay. They asked him. Okay. They asked him. He didn't go to them. They, listen, Mr. Musk, we need you to do us a favor. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying, family, I'm going to go ahead and digress from here. I got to shut it down. Listen, if there's any questions you guys want me to answer, let me know, honestly, if it's anything you want me to double back and re-go over. But I got you know, to go back and get ready for the go loud tonight, and I want you guys to be able to come in. We're going to go deeper into the technical side of things, going over Ethereum, going over XRP, going over Bitcoin. I can answer some XRP questions real quick if you guys would like. Yeah, damn, as soon as I looked over, everybody's saying XRP. <laughs> <laughs> quick, quick. <laughs> you ain't getting up out of here without that XRP knowledge. All right, so XRP right now, is man, listen, they already got this bad boy up here. SEC has charged Ripple with unregistered securities, right? So, what you need to understand about XRP is this XRP is not decentralized, right? It's pretty much controlled by Ripple Labs. They control how much XRP is uh, created, they control how much is burned. That being said, it is very different from Ethereum and very different from Bitcoin. Ethereum is decentralized, you can mine Ethereum. Bitcoin is decentralized, you can mine Bitcoin. Okay, 
XRP, you can't mine it. Their, their network controls how much XRP flows through the network. There's no outside interaction, AKA making XRP a closed off you know, ecosystem. It's a company, it's a business. It's not a project that is built for the world to help innovate on, right? So with that being said, the SEC has hit them with a securities lawsuit because now they're saying the XRP is selling something that's basically essentially a stock, right? You have basically gone around and sold something that's very equivalent to a stock. You're a company and you're selling portions of your company with this token that you're claiming to be a cryptocurrency, okay? The big problem is this. Most of XRP's community is not in the U.S., okay? So XRP has had most of its success by not being in the United States, right? They didn't get, let, they get, they didn't get listed to Coinbase like to recently. This wasn't like, a, oh, XRP got on Coinbase right away. They were one of the last coins to really land on Coinbase, right? So the Coinbase delistings aren't really anything that's really hurting them. And the other side is this. XRP is getting delisted not because it, it's, it's bad or it's done something you know, horribly wrong. It's the simple fact that these businesses have to cover their own back end, all right? If you're Coinbase, and you don't have a license to sell securities, you can go to court flat out. It's just, it's just how this stuff plays out, okay? So every company, AKA exchange, had to get rid of XRP, okay? It wasn't because they were like, oh, we don't like it. It's no, we gotta do this because for business sake, this is a company. So the other end is this, XRP has a lawsuit coming up or has the pretrial coming up on the 22nd of February, all right? So that's their last chance to settle out of court. They may or may not settle, okay? If they do settle, then we can see a really nice jump because I want to share something with you. Grayscale just bought up 12 million XRP, right? A few days ago, all right? They came in, it dropped down like 20 cent. Grayscale came in and said, yeah, we'll take 20 million or 12 million XRP. 12 million of it just got swooped up silently too. They didn't say anything. Then I just saw this the other day, right? All right. Right now, Amazon Web Services is performing a case study on Ripple. This could be a sign that they may be want to use Ripple as a payment method on Amazon. Sheesh. Don't that just beat all. Could you imagine what Ripple's price would look like or XRP's price would look like if Amazon decided to say, hey, you can buy your products with Ripple? All right. You can get your you can get you can buy your your waist shaper with XRP. All right, <laughs> you can come in and get all your workout equipment with XRP. Okay, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. So it, it, now this isn't anything solidified. This is just a case study. Okay, that's all this is. So they could just be checking some things out, right? It's just a ripple net use case study. So they just want to see how it's going to play out. Not anything that, you know, that's going to be solidified right away, but it's something to pay attention to because the people with the money aren't shying away from it. And I want to make sure you guys understand this part. There are securities in the market that have thrived. So if XRP is deemed a security, it doesn't mean that it's going to die, right? One security that people don't know, that don't know about, is this project right here. Celsius, which is number 18 in the world, is actually a security. They went to the SEC and registered as a security. I want to show you their progress over the last year, okay? Let's go to max here. All right. Year to date. What is the percentage of growth right here, ladies and gentlemen? 3,629% growth in a year from something that's a security. Look at the trajectory. This coin, okay, this year in March, I'm sorry, in 2020, 2020 of March, March 2020 last year, this coin was seven cents. It peaked out at $6. 3,000% gains from a security. This coin is not on Coinbase. It's not on Binance. It's not on Kraken. It's not on Poloniex. You can only get this from Uniswap, y'all. Okay? And I still think this one has massive upside. Massive upside. Okay? The last 30 days, 135% gains for this coin. I was on, uh, I was on Clubhouse. Somebody came in and said, oh, that coin's garbage. I, um, point to the garbage part for me. <laughs> you wish you had a project that went 3,000%. Like people will start saying stuff and just spewing out, spewing out stuff without doing any research. You can't pull that on me, man. I live on these stuff, on these charts. I live on these websites. You're not about to just say some random stuff and it's gonna slide past old Kurt. Okay. 
I'm just, I'm just saying, y'all. I want to make sure y'all got the right information at the right times. You can get involved with this when it matters. This thing is moving. It's booming. Celsius is phenomenal. Even their website, their app, their app, the Celsius app is crazy. Listen, you want to convince somebody that cryptocurrency works? Have them download the Celsius app and then put a hundred bucks in the uh, in like a stable coin and then stake it there and have them come back and check it every Monday. They're going to be like, why am I making this money every week? And I can take it out and spend it without paying taxes on it. Why is that happening? Yeah, listen, I saw you, Tammy. I saw, well, wait a minute. No tax, excuse me? <laughs> so listen, this is what we're talking about, y'all. We, we have game changer information in front of us right now. I'm not holding y'all up. I'm not about to play with y'all. I'm about to get y'all the, the whole bag, sauce and all. All right, Tanisha, like, I ain't putting this pen down. I'm writing everything he said down, okay? I see April, like, my whole mind is blown, okay? <laughs> I got a whole thing. I got to double back and reread, right? Chanel, like, listen, I can't wait for him to shut up talking so I can go over my notes again, right? Cindy ain't, bl ain't blinked yet, okay? <laughs> listen, Dr. Alley, like, I wish he would just stop talking. My head hurt, okay? <laughs> he went all the way in. Okay, y'all, listen, I'm just saying, I want to make sure everybody has opportunity to win here. I want to give you guys everything we can right away early in the year. So moving forward, you guys are going to be able to navigate these waters without being nervous, without being anxious, without operating from fear or scarcity. I want y'all to come in and absolutely take control of your financial destiny. You are going to see this thing run hot. It's going to go fast. We're going to have pullbacks. I don't need y'all busting into a cold sweat when you see a pullback happening. It's going to happen, but be ready to buy more because they're going to try to scare you away and they're going to play on your fear. They're going to play on your doubt, right? That Dave Chappelle mean when he had the money like, right? All right, they're going to they're gonna try to play on you and make you get a little nervous. Don't let them get you. Don't let them get you. They, they, they got a couple of folks last year. Don't let them get you. I'm Because at the end of 2021, you're going to be able to look right at all of, at all of them gains in your portfolio. You're going to be like, man. And your kids are going to be like, man, man, mom, how did you know to get in and make all of that? Listen, I learned. I came in and got the skill that I'm showing you right now. Let's go, right? They're going to believe like, you a legend, <laughs> okay? So listen, family, I'm going to go ahead and digress. I'm going to pass it back over to Dr. K. I had an absolute blast with you guys. Y'all are going crazy in this chat right now. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys want to follow me, my social media is above my head somewhere and all that good jazz. And if you haven't gotten on uh, the, the, what is it, the, the Clubhouse app, you got to get on Clubhouse. That thing yeah. is amazing. All and right. also, Curtis, let them know where you're going to be at in about an hour. Yeah, so uh, we're in like 40 minutes. So yeah, right, for those right. that are already in the company, tell them what channel you're going to be on so you know what to buy and what to sell this weekend. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm going to be on Go Live on the DCX package. So you got to go check me out on the DCX package at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So literally like in another, like you said, another 40 minutes, my session will be starting up and I'll be going over, you know, Bitcoin, Ethereum, you know, going back over Celsius, talking about the portfolio. I dropped a couple of coins inside of the Swipe Coin app. I am pretty much the entire exchange trading side of the Swipe Coin app. So anything that pops up that says exchange trade, that's me. I'm going to give you guys all the different projects we're going to be looking to put in our portfolios. Like I said before, I dropped this portfolio for you guys the day after Christmas. That portfolio has already jumped 100%. Whatever you put in has now doubled. Yes, mine surely have. <laughs> yeah, I'm, listen, I'm just saying, I'm not trying to toot my horn, but toot, toot, get involved, <laughs> get this bag. We do the research, like just come in and come in and win. Like we, we are, we're having a great time over here. And that's the thing, like when you're making games, you're making money, like you want to have fun with people. This stuff shouldn't be a headache and everybody's stressed out trying to figure this stuff out. Like just plug in and get in, right? My clubhouse name is just Cobain. You just type in Cobain, I'm going to pop right up. Awesome. So guys, throw some sevens in the chat if you uh, got some value out of this. I know you did because I know I did. Also, <laughs> real quick before it's all over, I want to bring on the men who started it all. And that's none other than our leader, who's at the very top, Mr. Lawrence Young. Lawrence, if you're there, can you pop on real quick and, and, and drop some nuggets and close this out? Oh, yeah. Can you hear me? Yes, I sure can. And mm -hmm. hey, hey, listen, I've got my notebook, my, my pad and pen out, and I'm just like blown away at uh, Kurt, man. That guy's, you know, when I say he's like the Oracle, I mean, he is unbelievable. I remember first meeting him uh, and my wife and I, Tamara, you know, Ms. Tamara Young, we met her on the internet and he came out to a meeting and uh, he came out and 
you know, he was just so excited. And just to see where he is right now, you know, becoming one of the most premier educators with our platform and, you know, people love him to death. And I'm just so, you know, it's like, I, I learned from him and I, I'm just so proud of him and everything he does. And, you know, we talk every single day and um, he just brings nothing but joy to my life, man, as a little brother to me. And Dr. K, I just want to say this, thanks for putting this call together. But you were one of the young ladies who actually stepped up when no one else did and became an educator for our company. And you created a movement that's second to none that just ran like an Amtrak train, no brakes, no gears. And, you know, the ECC 11 strategy just took off like wildfire. And you helped so many people with your story and your success stories. There's nothing short of amazing. So I definitely appreciate you. And guys and gals, listen to this call for the very first time. You know, listen, our platform is is like the Rolls Royce of the industry, right? There's a lot of people trying to copycat or imitate, but when you bring the value and you bring the heat like we bring, there's no competition, literally. And, uh, you know, this company's changed my life. It's given me and my wife, Tamara, nothing but the freedoms we, well, we've all looked for. I was able to retire, able to live my best life, and more importantly, just live that laptop lifestyle where I can go anywhere in the world and live my best life with Wi-Fi, and internet, and a device. And uh, that's what you want is be able to live your best life on your terms where you can be in a position where this year, if you worked hard, you could walk into your job and say, listen, my eyes are hurting. I don't see myself coming back, right? And that's something you want to be in a position if you want to get out of situations you may be in. Everyone has a certain reason for being on this call, whether it's lack of time, lack of freedom, lack of money. Everyone has a certain reason why you're actually on this call. Uh, so whatever you seek in life, ladies and gentlemen, is seeking you and you couldn't run with better leaders than uh, uh, Ms. Dr. Kathy Kirkland and Mr. Curtis Cobain Branch. And I tell you, the value is incredible because the worst that can happen over here, Dr. K, is this. You heard, you've heard me say this a million times. The worst that can happen is you can try this information out. And if it's not for you, guess what? You end up where you already are. Like that's the worst that could happen. But what if this could be the thing you pray for to help change your life? What if this could be the thing that you, when you get on your knees and pray at night, say, Lord, send me an opportunity. And someone gets you to jump on something and you may have never thought of trading. You never thought about multiplying your money. You may not even thought you could even do any of that. But here we are today and we've seen so many success stories. And, you know, listen, you got to shoot your shot. Just like Kurt says, you got to be like Steph Curry. Shoot that shot until you, until you miss. You always got to stand up to the plate and keep swinging for the fences. And uh, just stop being a spectator in the game of life. You know, 2020 hurt a lot of people in a lot of different ways. But think about this. Aren't you sick and tired of watching people drive your dream car, you know, live in your dream home, take your dream vacations, have that dream time freedom you've always wanted? Stop being a spectator in the game of life. Jump up to the plate and let's start swinging for the fence. So, Dr. K, I love you. and ain't nothing you can do about it. I turn it back over to you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Lawrence. I love you guys. And I really appreciate you and everything that you've done, you know, on and outside of work as well. So guys, get back with the person that invited you to the call. You don't want to miss out on what's, uh, what's happening right now. If you want to get connected, sometimes you have to follow people that's doing what you learn, want to do in order to get to the visions and dreams that you see. So connect with the, the person that invited you to the call, reach out to them, get signed up today, and we will see you on the other side of money, on the right side of money. Hey, I said my money can give me. I can make a thousand in a week. If you ain't trained, you trip me. You better get down with the business. I said my money can give me. I can make a thousand in a week. If you ain't trying to be tricked, then you better get down with the business. It's all different day, different fit, different plane, different trips. Huh? I, you and I are not the same to 35. It's all that I, I had to bring. Yeah, you gotta have a why. It gotta make sense. It